I've just separated Ebony off because if she is going to lamb, it's going to be very late in the year or in the spring. And the rest of the flock are here. And I'm going to let them out onto the grass. Whoopsie daisy. Sheep just barge through everything. So they are out here in the grass and Ebony is going to keep just a bit. This is a little bit. She's very pregnant. You can see her big belly. Anyway, Ebony, I'm going to have as a auntie to keep just a bit company. Hello, you. I know you want to get out, don't you? Yeah. Can you get down so I can undo the gate? Oh God, that hurt. Get back. Don't do that. No, come on. I'm going to get you out, but you have to give me time to open the gate. You pushing against my hand is not going to help anything. And you pushing against my head isn't going to help anything either. Here, no, excuse me. There, you can go that way. Go on. There you go. Good girl. She doesn't like this because the rest of the flock is over here. But little does little bit know. Sorry, this isn't little bit. This is ebony. That's little bit. You can always tell a little bit because she has no white socks and a tiny bit of white on her tail. So that's little bit. And it's her daughter who lambed the first lamb just a bit. But Ebony is going to play the auntie and babysit. And so she's going to have a lovely time in the orchard paddock, which also has shelter. So I've got to move the um, just a bit and her lamb first. So here is just a bit with her beautiful daughter, who I haven't named yet. I will get a name for her at some stage. So... I know, I know, there's dogs behind me. Go on, out, out, out. Good dog. Okay. There we go. Come on. Now, this is the easiest way to get her to follow me. If I carry the lamb higher, she will run away. This way, she has the smell of the lamb right in her face, and it does no harm to the lamb holding it up by its front legs. It honestly does no harm. It's not like a baby human. So I'm gonna... She's gonna follow me because I have the lamb. You're gonna get fresh grass and everything. You're gonna love it. Come on. Good girl. So we're going up through the garden. Yeah. Up through the garden. Yeah, the lamb just relaxes. <laughs> and up to this gate here, under the big pear tree, which is about to bloom. Uh-oh. Okay. Beautiful grass, look at this. Now, there we go. Excuse me, Inca, leave her be. 
She's got a, that's a very milky poo, early poo, which is a good sign. It means the mother's milk is very, very rich and good. So lots of lambs get that first poo. She's gonna love this fresh grass. I'll come up later and grab some leaves and pick the poo away. Just at the moment, I want her to settle in and eat. Mucky baby. Inca! The dogs, I'm afraid, love the milky poo. That's what Inca's interested in. Look, see? Inca! Disgusting dog! I know, you love that milky poo. Disgusting dog. Look at it's wagging its tail. So I've caught the lamp and I've cleaned up her back end. It's a lot cleaner than it was. She didn't like it very much, but the job is now done. Now she can wag her tail much freer and doesn't have a stinky butt. Stinky, mucky butt. There we go. Sweet baby. Her first baby. So I'm gonna bring a little bit up here to keep her company. So she's not on her own as a first time mother. She'll have company up here. Being that sheep are a flock animal, so like company. Feel more comfortable and relaxed in company, that is. Hey kitty, where are you? I hear it heard somebody meow. I think it was oven mitt. I don't know where he is. Anyway, lovely paddock. Oh, there you are, I've met. I thought I heard you. Yeah. I thought I heard you. And you, 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 you. Oh, I've got to stand up now. Okay, now to go and get Ebony to keep just a bit and her baby lamb company. Hang on a minute. How did you get out? You weren't supposed to be in there. I, you jumped, oh, I see what you did. I didn't close a gate. Okay, so you can come out. Come on. Oh, I didn't close this gate. So she trotted out there and around. So clever, clever Ebony, no flies on her. Now all the gates are closed. Now, with just a bit, with just a bit, I had the lamb to follow, make her follow me. And with Ebony, I have the magic bucket. <laughs> the magic bucket does wonders. Come on. Good girl. Yeah, yum, yum, yum. You're going to a lovely place. You're the luckiest yo that doesn't have a baby yet. Yes. No, don't eat the daffodils. Those are picked for somebody. <laughs> she just wants to trip me up. Come on. Come on, girl. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Ow! Stepping on my toe. Now, up in this paddock, she's gonna have a lovely time keeping just a bit company. Just a bit has wandered off. Where has she wandered off to? Come on. Oh, there she is. Okay. There we go. She's wandered off to the top of the garden. Now, there's two yos here in the garden. Ebony without a lamb. She's probably got a late lamb for late in the lambing season, which will be in April, hopefully. And then just a bit up there. She's hidden by the trees.